Okay, we go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, another place. It's lucky for you. Pala one hotel still working. See that one? You won't see any more very soon. Only money and connections can get you out of here. the idiot. Nobody follows the rules anymore. I told him the plane's gone, but they don't believe me. Everyone thinks the big planes are coming back. Who can say anymore? <laughs> needs you. Beware the evil APR Scorch. The plague has gripped our beauty. They're not fans of the DJ. Maybe his music choices. Who knows? Hey, what about some of the many checkpoints on the net? I mean, I'm Gunzana. I'm Gunzana. Where are you headed? My passenger, driving him to the hotel in town. Mm -hmm. You come from the airport? Yes, sir, the airport. Uh, gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Now, on my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer, ne? Yep, beer. We drink beer. Hurry up, then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. See you soon, sir. themselves most of the time. Don't let this concern you. Just poison him of steel, right? You remember how you Everyone 
one's trying to find a way out of the country. The only fools stay here. Hey, fools and cab drivers. You don't look so good. You're tired. Long Target's presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing, and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it, and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. Still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men and what motivates them. It's simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long.
You're a mess, man. That business looks nasty. My name is Carbonell. I don't care what your name is. You're just the problem right now. Who are you working with? You got some of my guys killed at the hotel, you know that? So I think you work for me now. I've got a few errands for you, Aaron boy. Get on out here. Get yourself kitted up. There's ammo and meds for you. <laughs> 